Boy will do, will do that. Yeah. Okay, so you know, you do the chanting and uh, that will be nice. Okay? Yeah. So I'm glad you're here. I didn't know you were going to come. I didn't know you were going to come. Or because this is one of the churches closest to my place. Yeah. Well, did you go to the seminar? No. Oh, okay. I thought you were driving. Right no. no. I, I lived in Cyprus for about oh, three months. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. And you converted? Yeah, I converted. Uh, then in Cyprus? No, I converted in California. Oh, okay. I went to a Greek church in California. Oh, good. But, yeah. Very good. Okay. Yeah. Well, good luck. Well, you took your time. Yeah. God bless you. Okay. Okay. Show up again.
You shall break them with a rod of iron. You shall dash them with like a potted vessel. Now therefore, be wise, O king, be instructed, your judgment of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son and let him be angry, and he perish in the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are those who put their trust in him. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Far from my prayer, from the words of my cry. O my God, I cry out all my day, and you answer not my night. And there is no relief for me. Yet you are enthroned in the holy place, O Lord of Israel. If you are, if you, in you our fathers trusted, they trusted, and you were not. In you they cried, and they escaped. In you they trusted, and they were not put to shame. But I am a worm, not a man, the scorn of men, despised by the people. All who see me scoff at me. They mock me with parted lips. They wag their heads. He relied on the Lord. Let him deliver me. Let him rescue me, if he loves me. You have been my guide since I was first born, my security of my mother at my mother's breast. To you I was committed at birth. From my mother's womb you are my God. Be not far from me, for I am in distress. Be near, for I have no one to help me. Many bullocks surround me. The strong bulls of basin encircle me. They open their mouths against me like raven born lions. I am like water poured out. All my bones are racked. My heart has become like wax melting away from my bosom. My throat is dried up like baked clay. My tongue cleaves to my jaws. To the dust of death you have brought me down. Indeed, my many dogs surround me. A pack of evildoers close upon me. They have pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. They look on and blow over me. They divide my garments among them. And for my vesture they cast lots. But you, O Lord, be not far from me. O, o my help, hasten to aid me. Rescue my soul from the sword, my loneliness from the grip of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth, from the horns of the wild bulls, my wretched life. Oh, I will proclaim, I will proclaim your name to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him, all you descendants of Jacob. Give glory to him, revere him, all you descendants of Israel. For he was not spurned, not disdained, the wretched man in his misery. Nor did he turn his face away from him. But when he cried out to him, he heard him. So by your gift, I will utter praise in the vast assembly. I will fulfill my vows before those who fear him. The lowly shall eat their fill. Many you seek, the Lord shall praise him. Many of your hearts be ever merry. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. All of the families of the nations shall bow down before him. For dominion is the Lord, and he rules the nations. To him alone shall bow down all who sleep in the earth. Before him shall bend all who go down into the dust. And to him my soul, my soul shall live. My descendants shall, shall serve him. Let the coming generation be told of the Lord, that they may proclaim to a people yet to be born the justice he has shown. Lord, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, when you, O Christ, were crucified, the tyranny was abolished, and the power of the other side was trampled. For it was neither an angel nor man who saved us, but you, yourself, the Lord, Lord He. Both now and ever, to the age of the age of What man truly taught to give to you, O full of grace, heaven? He gave rise to the Son of Righteousness, paradise that you brought forth with love and corruption, virgin that you were named in Bible, the pure mother that you held in your holy embraces, a son and God of all. And treat him that he may save our souls. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
disciples I could have brought more than twelve legions of angels to stand by. But I forget so that which I have declared to you through my prophets may be fulfilled. Thanks unto him and giving glory, glory to you. He went out and spoke to the multitudes. Blessed is he who is concerned for the needy and the poor. The reading is from the prophecy of Zechariah. We talk about a free adventure. And I took my rod that was grace, and I broke it. And I know the covenant that I made with all the people. So it was annulled on that day, and the traffickers in the sheep who were watching me knew it was the word of the Lord. Then I said to them, If it seems right to you, give me my wages, but if not, keep them. And they weighed out as my wages thirty shekels of silver. Then the Lord said to me, Cast it into the treasury. The lordly price at which I was paid off by them. So I took the thirty shekels of silver and cast them into the treasury in the house of the Lord. The reading is from St. Paul's epistle to the Galatians. But as for me, God forbid that I should glory, save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom the world is crucified to me, and I to the world. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision or uncircumcision, but a new creation is of any account. And whoever follows this rule, peace and mercy upon them, even upon the Israel of God. Henceforth, let no man give me trouble. For I bear the marks of the Lord Jesus in my body. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, brethren. Amen. Amen. Let him be crucified. 
So when Pilate saw that he was gaining nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning, he took water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this righteous man's blood. See to it yourself. And all the people answered, His blood be on us and on our children. Then he released for them Barabbas, and having scourged Jesus, delivered him to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the praetorium, and they gathered the whole battalion before him. And they stripped him and put a scarlet robe upon him, and plaited a crown of thorns, they put it on his head, and put a reed on his right hand, and kneeling before him they mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! And they spat upon him, and took the reed, and struck him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the robe, and put his own clothes on him, and led him away to crucify him. As they went out, they came upon a man in, of Cyrene, Simon by name. This man they compelled to carry his cross. And when they came to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull, they offered him wine to drink, mingled with gall. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And when they had crucified him, they divided his garments among them by casting lots. Then they sat down and kept watch over him there. And over his head they put the charge against him, which read, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then two robbers were crucified with him one on the right and one on the left, and those who passed by deriding him, wagging their heads and saying, You who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, come down from the cross. So also the chief priests with the scribes and elders mocked him, saying, He saves others, he cannot save himself. He is the King of Israel. Let him come down now from the, from the cross, and we will believe in him. He trusts in God. Let God deliver him now, if he desires him. For he said, I am the Son of God. And the robbers who were crucified with him all reviled him in the same way. Now from the sixth hour there was darkness over the earth until the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. That is, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And some of the bystanders hearing it said, This man is calling Elijah. And one of them at once ran and took a sponge, filled it with vinegar, and put it on a reed, and gave it to him to drink. But the other said, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. And Jesus cried out again with a loud voice, and yielded up his spirit. And behold, the curtain of the temple was torn in two, from top to bottom, and the earth shook, and the rocks were split. The tombs also were opened, and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. And coming out of the tombs after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. When a centurion and those who were with him, keeping watch over Jesus, saw the earthquake and what took place, they were filled with awe and said, Truly this was the Son of God. There were also many women there, looking on from afar, who had followed Jesus from Galilee, ministering to him, among whom were Mary, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James the brother, and the mother of the sons of Zebedee.
But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was back on. I humbled myself with a fasting, and my prayer was returned to my own heart. I paced about as through hero my friends or brother. I bowed down heavily as one who mourns for his mother. But in my adversary they rejoiced and gathered together, attackers gathered against me, and I did not know it. They tore at me and did not cease. With ungodly mockers at feast, they gnashed at me with their teeth. Lord, how long we will come? Rescue me from their destruction, and I press the place from the lion. I will give you thanks in the great assembly. I will praise you among many people. Let them not rejoice over me or wrongfully my enemies, nor let them wink with the eye and hate without a cause. For they do not seek peace, but they divide deceitful matters against the quiet ones in the land. They also open their mouths wide against me and said, Aha, aha, our eyes have seen it. This you have seen, O Lord, do not keep silence. O Lord, do not be far from me. Throw up yourself and awake to my vindication, to my cause, my God and Lord. Vindicate me, O Lord, my God, according to your righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, Ah, so we would have it. Let, let them not say, You have swallowed them up. Let them be ashamed and bless their mutual confession, to rejoice at my hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor to exalt themselves against me. Let them shout for joy and be glad to favor my righteous cause, and let them say continually, Let the Lord be magnified, who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of your righteousness and of your praise all day long. O oh God, in whom I praise, be not silent, for they have opened wicked and treacherous eyes against me. They have spoken to me with lying tongues, and with words of hatred they have encompassed me and attacked me without cause. In return for my love, they slandered me, but I prayed. They repaid, my, they repaid me evil for good, and me for my love. Raise up a wicked man against him, and let the accuser stand at his right hand. When he is judged, let him go forth condemned, and may his plea be in vain. May his days be few, may another take his office, may his children be fatherless, and his wife a widow. May his children be lonely, favorites, and beggars. May they be cast out into the ruins of their homes. May the usurer ensnare all his belongings and sing his plunder and the of his labors. May there be no one to do him a kindness, nor anyone to pity his orphans. May his posterity meet with destruction. In the next generation, may your name be blotted out. May the guilt of his father be remembered by the Lord. Let not his mother's sin be blotted out. May they be continually, continually before the Lord, till he banish the memory of his parents from the earth. Because he remembered not to show kindness, but persecuted the men of the Lord, and their broken hearted to be put to death. He loved cursing, may it come upon him. He took no delight in blessing, may it be far from him. And may he be clothed and cursed with cursing as with a robe. May it penetrate into his entrails like water, like oil into his bones. May it be for him like a garment which covers him, like a girdle which is always about him. May the speed of incumbents from the Lord upon my accusers and upon those who speak evil against me. But do you, but do you, O Lord, my prayer, my Lord, be real kind to me with me. For your name's sake, and your generous kindness rest in me. For I am wretched and poor, and my heart is pierced with, with me. Like a lengthening shadow, I pass away. I am swept away like the locust. My knees totter with my, from my fasting, and my flesh is wasted of this of his substance. And I am and I am become a mockery to them. When they see me, they shake their heads. Help me, O Lord my God, save me in your kindness, and let them know that this is your hand, that you, O Lord, have done this. Let them curse, but do not bless. But be you blessed. May my adversary be put to shame, and let your servant rejoice. Let my accusers be clothed with disgrace, and let them wear their shame like a mantle. I will plead my thanks earnestly to the Lord, and in the midst of the throng I will praise him. For he stood at the right hand of the poor man to save him from those who would condemn him. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions, walk me through, walk me through with my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin to those before me. Against you, the only have I sinned, and I have done this evil in your sight, that you may be found just when you speak, and blame when you judge. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and my sin mother conceived me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward part, and in the hidden part you will make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Walk me in my holy water and snow. 
the kingdom of joy and gladness, and the bones yet broken, they rejoice. Hide your face away from my sins, and blot out my iniquity. Create me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore me to the joy of your salvation, and uphold me to your generous spirit. Then I will teach transgressions your ways, and sinners shall be converted to you. Deliver me from the guilt of one sin, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing a lot of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. Do not desire sacrifice, or else I would do it. You do not delight in burnt offerings. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. These, O God, you will not despise. Do good in, do good in pleasure to Zion. Build the walls of Jerusalem, then you shall be pleased with sacrifices of righteousness. With burnt offering and whole burnt offerings, and they shall offer both on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the age of the ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Judeans, O Lord, condemn your life and all to death. The ones who cross the Red Sea through the power of the staff may only be to a cross. And those who have suffered with honey from the rock, rock and gold. They wouldn't be even go experience with the bondage of the enemy. O Christ our God, glory to you. Now and ever to the ages of ages, Amen. You are the true vine of the Apocalypse who bore the fruit of life. We implore you, together with the apostles, to intercede for the mercy to be shed on our souls. The spirit of the and your friend and companion, Peter, in the hero of the Lord and the blessing he fell. Thus, do not let my tears pass by in silence, for I said I would keep the faith, but I did not. O compassion is one word for receive in my matter of repentance that has mercy on us. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and understand my crying out. At the foot of your precious cross, O Lord, when the soldiers were mocking you, the host of angels were struck with wonder from you, who was on the earth with the words. For the God of his souls and who clothed the throne of men in his house, or the rule of mock of me, for to this dispensation your compassion was made known of Christ, the great mercy, glory to you. Kuruta patri jeyo ke aliyo te mati, ke ni ke ani ke ni tu se wana kone wana ani. When you were drawn to the cross of Lord, Walked in darkness and has no light. 
Let him hope in the name of the Lord and lean upon his God. Behold, all you that kindle a fire encompass with flames. Walk in the light of your fire and in the flames which you have kindled. This is done to you by my hand, and you shall sleep in sorrow. The reading is from St. Paul's Epistle to the Romans. Would you come love to be attentive? For when we were still without strength in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet perhaps for a good man someone would even dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us, and that while we are still sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For if, when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his Son, much more having been reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Blessed be the Lord today, after they 
And may God be saved to lead us on to our salvation. Now you see the real time, 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 you see the real our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For you are the kingdom, the power, and the glory, of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and the day of the day of the day of the day. Amen. Come, let us all pray that you will crucify for us. For now we are upon the wood and said, even though you endure crucifixion, you are my son and my God. He relates and 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 he relates. The one who at all times and every hour both in heaven and earth is worshipped and glorified, Christ our God. Long suffering, kindness and mercy, and full of compassion, full of the righteousness and merciful to sin, his calling on salvation, through the promise of the blessings to come, and suffer supplications in his present hour. And direct our lives according to your commandments. Sanctify our souls, purify our bodies, set our right our lives, cleanse our hearts, deliver us from all affliction and evil and distress. Turn unto your holy angels to guide and guard by word and position, and may attain the unity of faith and the knowledge of your natural glory, for your blessings from today to day to come. Media lays of the days of the days. Let's take up the gate of life and then meet the other gates of the earth. Kingdom of the kingdom of God and God of Yet I'll say that I Jesus and said, I mean, you know, the other fellow, they are holding the two sons, you know, say, well, I'm saying, but you know. In a moment, you give your glory, son, Father. May God be merciful to us and bless us. May his face shine upon us and be merciful to us. O God, the Master, Father, Almighty, Lord, Holy God, the Son of Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit, one God has one power, have mercy on your sinners. And by the judgments known to you, save me, your unworthy servant. For you are blessed unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Lord, Holy Lord, Holy Lord, Holy Lord, Holy Holy Lord, 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 Holy Holy one, who did and heal thy son, he said, and he said, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for the name of the age of the age of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and thy will be in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let them be cast into the fire, into deep pits, 
but they rise not up again. Let not a slander be established in the earth, but evil has the violent man to overthrow him. And I know the Lord will maintain the cause of my of the afflicted and justice for the poor. Surely the righteous shall give thanks to your name, and the upright shall dwell in your presence. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty. He will say to the Lord, This is my refuge and my fortress, my God and whom I trust. For he will rescue you from the snare of the fowler and from the destroying pestilence. With his pinions he will cover you, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His faithfulness is a buckler and a shield. You shall not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that roams in darkness, nor the devastating plague at noon. For a thousand fall at your side, ten thousand at your right side, and near you it shall come. Not, it shall not come. Rather with your eyes shall you behold and see the record. Requital of the wicked. Because you have the Lord from the refuge, you have made the most high from stronghold. No evil shall befall you, nor shall affliction come near our tent. For to his angels he has given command about you, that they guard you in all his ways. Upon their, angel, upon their hands they will bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the asp of the viper. You shall trample down the lion and the dragon. Because he clings to me, I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he acknowledges my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in distress. I will deliver him and glorify him. With length of days, I will gratify him and will show him my salvation. Yeah. 
of Isaiah. Wisdom let us be attentive. Behold, my servant shall understand. He shall be exalted and lifted up, and shall be very high. As many were astonished at him, his appearance was so large. The eyes seemed so rich, and his form beyond that of the sons of men so shall. He startled many nations. He shall shut their mouths because of him. For that which has not been told them, they shall see, and that which they have not heard, they shall understand. Who has believed what we have heard? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he grew up before him like a young plant, and like a root out of dry ground. He had no form or confidence that we should look at him, and no beauty that we should desire him. He was despised and was rejected by most men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And as one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. Upon him who was the chastisement that made us whole, and with his stripes we are all healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed, and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth, like a lamb that is led to the slaughter, and like a sheep that before its shear is dumb, so he opened not his mouth. By oppression and judgment he was taken away, and as for his generation who considered that, he was out, off out of the land of the living, stricken for the transgression of my people. And they made his grave with the wicked and with the rich man in his death, although he had done no violence and there was no deceit in his mouth. Yet he was the will of the Lord to grieve him. He has put him to grief. When he makes himself an offering for sin, he shall see his offspring. He shall hold on his days. The will of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see the fruit of the travail of his soul and be satisfied. By his knowledge shall the righteous one, by his servants, many, many to be counted righteous. And he shall bear their iniquity. Therefore I will divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide his soil with the strong, because he poured out his soul to death, and was numbered with the transgressors. Yet his poor he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. Seeing or bearing who did not bear, break forth in the scene and cry aloud, You who have not been travailed, for the children of the desolate one will be more than the children of her that is married, says the Lord. The reading is from St. Paul's Epistle to the Hebrews. Would some let us be attentive? Brethren, both he who sanctifies and those who are being sanctified all at once, for which reason he is not ashamed to call them brethren, saying, I will declare your name to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will sing praise to you. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, here I am, and the children whom God has given me. Given me. Inasmuch, then, as the children have partaken of flesh and blood, he himself likewise shared in the same, that through death he might destroy him, who had the power of death, that is, the devil, and release those through the fear of death, were all their lifetime subjects to bondage. For indeed he does not give aid to angels, but he does give aid to the seed of Abraham. Therefore in all things he had to be made like his brethren, that he might be a merciful and high priest in things pertaining to God, to make propitiation for the sins of the people. For that he himself has suffered being tempted, he is able to aid those who are tempted.
criminals were led away to be put to death with him. And when they came to the place which is called the skull, they were cruci there they crucified him, and the criminals, one on the right and one on the left. And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they cast lots to divide his garments, and the people stood by watching. But the rulers scoffed at him, saying, He saved others, let him save himself. If he is the Christ of God, his chosen one, the soldiers also mock him, coming up and offering him vinegar, and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was, no, there was also an inscription over him in letters of Greek, Latin, and Hebrew. This is the king of the Jews. One of the scribbles who were hanging around at him saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. But the others rebuked him saying, Do you not fear God? Since you are under the same sentence of condemnation, and we indeed justly, for we are receiving the due reward for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. And he said to them, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And he said to him, Truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. It was now about the sixth hour, and there was darkness over the whole earth until the ninth hour. While the sun was darkening, and this curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into thy hands I commit my spirit. And having said this, he breathed his last. Now when the centurion saw what had taken place, he praised God and said, Certainly this man was innocent. And all the multitudes who assembled to see the sight, when they saw what had taken place, returned home beating their breasts. And all his acquaintances and the women who had followed him from Galilee, they stood at the distance and saw these things.
May God be merciful to us and bless us. May his face shine upon us and be merciful to us. O God and Lord of hosts, author of all creation, who out of the depths of your inevitable mercy sent down your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our race, and by his precious cross, <clears throat> tore up the record of our sins, and thereby confident over the principles and powers of darkness, except also over the master of the fervent thanksgiving prayer of us sinners, deliver us from every evil and dark transgression, and from all visible and invisible enemies who seek to do us harm. Transfix our bodies in the fear of you and, in, and incline not our hearts to evil words or thoughts, but pierce our souls with desire for you, that always looking up to you we may be guided by your light, and beholding you, the inevitable and everlasting light, we may offer unceasing praise and thanksgiving to the Father who has not has no beginning together with your only begotten Son and your own holy and good life in the Spirit, now and ever, and unto the age of the ages. Amen. Amen. Holy God, holy Add iniquity to their iniquity, and let them not come into your righteousness. 
Let them be blotted out of the book of the living, and not be written in the right place. But I am poor and sorrowful. Let your salvation, O God, set me up on high. I will praise the name of God with song, and magnify him with thanksgiving. This shall also please the Lord better than the ox or bull, which has horns and goats. The humble shall see this and be glad, and you who seek God, your heart shall live. For the Lord hears the poor and does not despite his prisoners. But heaven and earth praise him, and is deep in everything that moves in them. For God will save Zion and go to the cities of Judea, that they will dwell there and possess it. Also the descendants of the servants shall inherit it, and those who own his name and dwell in it. Thank you, O God, to rescue me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be put to shame and confounded who seek my life. Let them be turned back in disgrace who desire my ruin. Let them retire from their shame who say to me, Ah, ah, ah. But may all who seek you exult and be glad in you. And may those who love your salvation say, Amen, God be glorified. But I am afflicted and poor. O God, hasten to me. You, you my, are my help and my deliverer. O Lord, hold not back. Incline your ear, O Lord, answer me, for I am afflicted and poor. Keep my life, for I am devoted to you. Save your servant who trusts in me. You are my God. Have pity on me, O Lord, for to you I call on the dead. Glad the soul of your servant, for you, O Lord, have lifted up my soul. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in kindness to all who will call upon you. Hearken, O Lord, to my prayer and attend to the sound of my pleading. In the day of my distress, I call upon you. For you will answer me. There is none like you among the gods, O Lord, and there are no works like yours. All the nations you have made shall come and worship you, O Lord, and glorify your name. For you are great, and you do wondrous deeds. You alone are God. Teach me, O Lord, your, your way that I may walk in your truth. Direct my heart that I may fear your name. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify your name forever. Great has been your kindness toward me. You have rescued me from the depths of the, of the netherworld. O oh God, the haughty have risen up against me, and the company of fierce men seek my life. Nor do they set you upon you before their eyes. But you, O Lord, are God, merciful and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in kindness and fidelity. Turn toward me, and, you, and have pity on me. Give your strength to your servant, and save the son of your handmaid. Grant, grant me a proof of your favor, that my enemies may see. To their confession, confusion, that you, O Lord, have helped me and comforted me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, with now and into the ages of ages. Amen.
Let us hold fast the con confession of our hope without wavering, for he who was given the promise is faithful. And let us consider how to arouse one another to charity and good works, not forsaking our not forsaking our assembly as the as is the custom of some, but exhorting one another, and this all the more as you see the day drawing near. For if we sin willfully willfully after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there remains no longer a sacrifice for sin, but a certain dreadful expectation of the judgment and the fury of the fire, which will consume the adversaries. A man making void the law of Moses dies without any mercy on the word of two or three witnesses. How much more punishments do you think he deserves who has trodden underfoot the Son of God and has regarded as unclean the blood of the covenant through which he was sanctified, and has insulted the spirit of grace. For we know him who has said, Vengeance is mine, I will repay. And again, the Lord will judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom arise, let us hear the gospel. Peace be unto you all. Lord, of mercy, Lord, of mercy, Lord, of mercy. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, and now God is the age of the ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever let us be able to Amen. Come, let us all praise him. Who was crucified for us, for Mary, behold him on the wood, and said, Even though you endure the cross, you are my son and my God. You give this, 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 Sanctify our souls, purify our bodies, set our our minds, find our cause, and deliver us from all affliction, the evil of distress. Surround us with your holy angels, and guide us guided and guarded by their disposition. We may attain the unity of faith and the knowledge of your eventual glory. Through your blessings, the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. 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 In the name of the Lord, 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 the you prepared the way for the grateful thief to enter paradise, and by death destroyed death. Have mercy on us, your sinful and unworthy servant. For we have sinned and have transgressed, and are not worthy to lift up our eyes and look toward the heights of heaven. For we have departed from the path of your righteousness, and have followed the desires of our own heart. But we implore you, in your infinite goodness, spare us, O Lord, according to the multitude of your mercies, and save us for the sake of your holy name, for our days have been wasted, consumed in battle. Rest us from the hand of the adversary, forgive us our sins, and mortify our final thoughts, that casting off the old man we may be clothed with the new, and so live for you our master and guardian, and thus following your ordinances, we may attain to eternal rest in the abode of all those who rejoice. For you are it, for you are in verity the true glory and exaltation of those who love you, O Christ our God. And to you we ascribe glory together with your Father, who is without beginning, and your all holy and good and right and spirit, now we have to the age of the age In your kingdom, remember us, O Lord, when we come into your kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall become the children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you, O God, and Father, who now speak to you, and say, O God, and evil against you, falsely for my sake. Rejoice with you, and be glad for you, and be glad for you, and be glad for you. The heavenly embrace praises you, and says, Holy, holy, holy Lord of all, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The rank of the holy angels and archangels, with all the heavenly powers, Praises you, saying, Holy, 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 Lord of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of your glory. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord 
in his Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all his ages, light of life, true God of God, begotten not made, of the of the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man, and was crucified for us on the Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried, and arose on the third day according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and is seated on the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again in glory to judge the wind of death, whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord has given us life, who proceed from the Father, who together with the Son of the Worship, who goes by the Lord, who spoke through the prophets, the one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, I acknowledge what happened to us in this sin. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age of God. Amen. Pardon me, may you forgive, O Lord, your exceptional, our, our exceptional and unintentional faults, but whether it be wittingly or unwittingly, those by night and those by day, those of the mind and those of the senses, forgive us all for you are good and love in the love of the Lord. Our Father, the Lord of the Lord. Heaven be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Come, let us all praise him who was crucified for us, for him Mary beheld on the tree, and said, Even though you suffer crucifixion, you are my son and my God. Kidulason, kidulason, kidulason. May the name of the Lord be blessed from this time forth and forevermore. May the name of the Lord be blessed from this time forth and forevermore. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make it make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked at him and were radiant, and their faces were not ashamed. The poor man cried out when the Lord heard him and saved him from all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him and deliver them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord. O oh, fear the Lord, you the saints. There is no want to those who fear him. The young lions lack and suffer hunger. For those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Come, you children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is the man who desires life and loves many days? that he may see good. Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears, and delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart, and save such as have a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He guards all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous shall be condemned. The Lord redeems the soul of his servant, and none of those who trust in him shall be condemned. Lord, you are God, I hope for you. May Christ shout to God who endured the sittings and scourgings and buffetings, the cross and death for our salvation, through the intercessions of his most pure and holy mother, of the power of the precious and life giving cross, the protection of the honored, bodiless powers in heaven, the supplications of the honored, glorious prophet and poor and John the Baptist, the holy glorious and all wonderful apostle, the holy glorious and victorious martyr, our saintly and God bearing father, the holy and righteous divine ancestors of Joachim and Anna, of St. George and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us as a good and loving and merciful God. We have fallen to the earth at every morning to do so.
church, uh, they call it Good Friday, uh, and, uh, and I remember as a child, my mother, uh, uh, somebody, uh, the, I think it was a landlord, she said, are you celebrating Good Friday, and she was shocked to hear that Friday was called Good. She was shocked to hear that Friday was called Good, because we don't call it Good Friday, we call it uh, Great Friday. It's not Calor uh, 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 Pasca. It's not Kalof Panskabe, it's called Megas Panskabe, Great Friday. So uh, she was shocked at that, and uh, I've always had that in mind, but well, what does that really mean? In a way, it's true. It is good that God came into the world to save us. There's no doubt about it. Absolutely good. But the whole idea that we're celebrating, uh, uh, and we are celebrating actually, that, that Christ came into the world, put himself on a cross, and, uh, and again, uh, for our salvation. So as good as it is, we still do not call it good. We call it great. And I think that sounds even more proper, uh, that it is a great Friday, uh, that we, uh, we, and we do celebrate. Now, when I say celebrate, we rejoice in God's gift to us. And by the way, Holy Friday, uh, and Great Friday, as it is today, uh, this is the only time of the year that we do not do a divine liturgy, because he's on the cross, and he offers himself to us uh, in, in, in his own way, in his own blood, uh, and not through the divine liturgy. So anyway, only one day in the whole year it's not celebrated, and that's on Great Friday. So today, uh, uh, I hope that the flowers are in. If anybody wishes to work on the uh, epidaphion, to put the flowers on the epidaphion, you're more than welcome to do that. And at 3 o'clock, we will have the uh, service of taking down from the cross. And may God bless you. And thanks to our chaplain. 